Welcome. So what I have is the tan of x plus the square root of 3 equals 0. So what I'm going to do for this problem is we need to solve and find the values of tan of x. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have to isolate our trigonometric term. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract the square root of 3 on both sides by the subtraction property of equality. Therefore, now I have tan of x equals negative square root of 3. So what I want to do to find the values of x that are going to make this equation true, what I need to do is I need to figure out what values of x are for tangent are equal when we have the negative square root of 3. So what I need to do is go back to my unit circle and decide when do I have a tan value um, that's going to be equal to negative square root of 3. So I'm going to go and use my first quadrant, even though I know that this is a negative point. But I'm going to use this so I can represent it roundly, because I remember my points in the first quadrant. And I hope that you do too, because I made some videos on these. And I expect students, by this point in time, hopefully have at least an understanding of the uh, unit circle, because we've been working with it so much. So what I'm going to do, remember tangent is y over x. So which one of these is going to provide when I put y over my x is going to provide a square root of 3? Well, what we notice is this goes to 1. This is going to be have 1 half over the square root of 3 over 2, and which is end up going to give me with 1 over square root of 3, which when I rationalize the denominator is not going to give me the square root of 3. So the next point I look at is what about the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half? I can just cancel out to get me square root of 3. However, that's for the positive square root of 3. So when would this be a negative square root of 3? Well, if this is, this angle is pi thirds, so the next angle over would be 2 pi over 3, which is going to now leave me with a, a negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. OK, so that was going to be that point. Now you could also say, well, there's another angle all the way down here, right? 2 pi over 3, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi over 3. But before we get into that, let's just write in down our one answer. So we can say that my value is equal to 2 pi over 3. Now what we notice is, from here's my first answer to my next answer, that distance you can see is halfway around a circle, which would be pi. And you can think, all right, so remember coterminal angles. If you, you know, add 360, you're going to get the exact same angle. So we could say that, well, you could add 2 pi r to this. But we have another angle here. And the distance from this angle to this angle is pi. Because remember, the period of the tangent graph or the tangent function, it takes it, the period is pi. So therefore, all we need to do is just add pi, and we'll get every single value. So if I have this angle, I add pi, I go here. I add pi again, I get a new angle. Add pi again, add pi again. So I'm always, by adding pi, I'm going to be going between these two angles, which are both going to be our solution. So it's important when looking at the tangent uh, function that we make sure we include the, um, the period of pi. And we can just write 2 pi over 3, it was our first angle, plus pi times how many times we want to multiply. Because remember, there's going to be infinite many solutions as coterminal angle or my angles can just keep on revolving. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.